are the following trick identities. So what we'll do here is we'll break down the first part into sine theta over cosine theta times one over sine theta times cosine theta. If you look here, sines cancel out, cosines cancel out, and we're just left with one. So for our second part here, we get difference of perfect squares, sine squared theta minus, I mean, I'll skip a couple of things here, but the middle terms cancel out and we get this. So we have terms in cosine, so that means we should probably convert our sine, or our cos, or excuse me, our sine squared into one minus cosine squared theta minus cosine squared theta, which becomes one minus two cosine squared theta. That's it for that one here. Let's get a common denominator of one plus cosine, one minus cosine. So the left will multiply by the one minus cosine and the right will multiply it by the one plus. So we get sine theta times one minus cosine theta. Let's see here. Actually, what am I talking about? We don't even have to do that. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah. And these middle terms become, or these two bottom terms become this. So we can convert the bottom into, um, sine squared. So one of these cancels out and we're left with one minus cosine theta over sine theta. And that's it for that one. All right, so for part eight, uh, convert this across, sine squared theta plus, and then cotangent's the same thing as cosine squared over sine squared. Uh, when you distribute sine, it gets rid of the bottom, so we just get cosine squared on top. And then this is a trig identity, it's equal to one which is equal to one on the right. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching this video and you have yourself a fantastic day.